Hey everybody, this is Brian here with the Neclect ne <laughs> the Eclectic News Network. I am getting ready uh, to get home, and I kind of want to just uh, talk to all you lovely people out there that are listening, um, kind of about what we're going through as a society. Let me put this down a little bit, because uh, you just see my belly again. <laughs> I'm getting a GoPro. Don't worry about it. So I can have a suction cup on there. So I clearly you don't see my big uh, puffy jacket here. Um, so, yeah, just kind of go over in a couple things, just letting people know uh, society in general is falling apart. Um, number one, the top four companies in this country increased their wealth by $170 billion in 2020. More than tenfold since the pandemic started. And when you have that kind of disparity or any kind of disparity in economic uh, reality, uh, things start to become unbalanced. Um, but yet there's no rioting. And I'm not calling for that. People are just kind of like, uh, whatever. Yeah, I went shopping today and it was kind of comical. Not comical, but very sad. Um, people are zombies, folks. Uh, we are being poisoned by the food, we're being poisoned by the water, we're being poisoned by the media, we're being poisoned by everything. And that is what's made us. I mean, I walk around and I'm not. I'm the same way. I'm not saying people are bad. I'm just saying that you could just tell the public is in a zombified state and angry, but they hold it inward. You could tell they're like, but they hold it in. And that's the worst kind of anger. That's how people die of cancer. That's how people die 20 years younger than they should. Po point, case in point, lady just cuts in front of me. She just basically scowls at me but doesn't say a word to me. This is a woman who's probably holding it all in. you know. And I think people are just holding it all in because, well, society tells me if I act like this, I'm crazy. Then if you look at the past... If you look at uh, Joe Stalin, if you look at uh, Adolf Hitler, if you look at Nikolai Ceausescu and the Securitate, that took 25 years for it to fall apart. Um, we're not there yet. The problem is we have it too good. Um, I don't understand why people aren't pissed off. I, I don't see it. I see people just basically going through the motions like, oh, whatever, it's a, I'm a zombie. Um... I don't see people upset at all. I think people are just basically, well, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to lose what I have. We're going to lose everything. And it's not going to be pretty. They are going to get rid of the human element. Automation is here, and it's going to get rid of a lot of people. And people need to realize what's important in their lives. To, to form small communities to get together, to get what is necessary and needed to live the life that you can possibly live. That's the most important thing because Donald Trump's not going to save you. Joe Biden, God forbid, is not going to save you. Uh, the only thing that's going to save you is local. And that's the only thing that is going to save you. And I say that in jest sort of because we all look to some guy in a white knight that's going to save us. Well, no. Uh, you know, cryptocurrencies, competing currencies are always good. I'm all for different avenues of finance that are a little bit more local than, you know, national or transnational. Um, that's very important. But what you see now is people, these bankers, as I call it, the interest rate apartheid, where you have the banksters that get it at zero percent. They can buy up all the assets, make all the money on top. And then somebody who lives in bumfuck Ohio, they basically... They have to pay 30% for a credit card. They have to pay 6,000% for a cash advance. It's the interest rate apartheid. It's the return of neo-feudalism. It's the return of bullshit in America. It was the, the days of Dwight Eisenhower in the office. And you, you were going to make more money than your dad. And, you know, you're driving a nicer car is gone. And that's thanks to the Fed. So everybody's going to feel the pain. Now, right now, it's selective. Uh, if you're in tech... You're not feeling, if you're in the education system and the higher ups, you're not feeling it. Because once they get everybody brainwashed into believing that, then they're going to cut off the professors. They're the first ones they're going to kill. <laughs> because they can't stand them. you got to understand that. You have to understand that these people 
want you dead. They don't give a damn about you. They don't care about you. And they don't care what you stand for because they think that you're small. And I don't think you're small. I think you're a person that has the energy and the capabilities that any human being has in human history. It's just that you haven't discovered that yet. People are all focused on what they have and what, what's um, the newest fad or, you know, how do I become more fitting in? I think the, the rebel cause here in 2021 and going forward is how can I be different? How can I be more outside the box? How can I be more of a rebel? That's, that's the new uh, way to fit in is by not fitting in. Um, that's the new way of doing it. And I think a lot of people are starting to realize and figure that out. Um, and the thing is, is if you look at a lot of societies that collapse, normally there's a violent overthrow. And they're going to try to push it. The problem is, is that they've gotten away with so much, they might get away with it because people really don't care. I mean, if you look at the population right now, the youth right now is so stupid that literally they think that Joe Biden, you know, he was president during the Civil War. Um, they don't know that he's the president now. <laughs> And the problem with a lot of people is they don't realize they don't know their history. And if you don't know history and you don't know about it, you're doomed to repeat it. And, you know, it's, it's going to be very, uh, it's going to be a very difficult time. But out of this, out of this muck, out of this crap, there is a future where we are going to be better. We're going to win in the end. Okay. Right now, the elite are winning. There's no doubt. They're kicking our ass. But we are going to win in the end because it's not going to work. It doesn't matter how much medication you put in the food supply. It doesn't matter how much crap you put in there. Uh, there is a divine force that is God, Jesus Christ, that is my Lord and Savior. I'm a sinner, but he is the one that's there. He gives you free will. Even if you don't believe in God, there's natural law. Uh, it, you know, there's good versus evil. It's a spiritual battle. This has nothing to do with Donald Trump, Joe Biden, or the Russians, or the Chinese, or whatever. It's between good and evil. It's about people putting themselves first to help themselves become better. You know, people are laughed at because they want to do better with their lives. Or people try to say, oh, I want to do this. And they're laughed at. People are miserable. I, I look, I'm looking all around me. People are just fucking miserable. They are just awfully miserable. You can just tell it. They're so depressed. It literally, I mean, the thing is, is we don't have vodka like we have in, uh, you know, Russia or the Soviet Union back in the day. I don't know what you have here. I guess, I guess what we have here instead of vodka is uh, Netflix and chill. I think, <laughs> I think that's the, uh, the, the case in point. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be something where people are going to, they want a physical altercation, uh, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, and I don't think that, uh, you know, it's going to be something that's going to work in the long run. I mean, they're going to try to, to create a physical war, which they want. My thing is, is just secede from the union, just say, screw it. You know what? We're not going to do what you want us to do. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do reparation. We're not going to do all this crazy crap that you want us to do. Uh, you know what? We're, we're, uh, Ohio or we're Texas. We're going to say, uh, you know, go pound sand federal government. Uh, cause we created you. It's not the other way around. And then, uh, we're going to get, we're going to exercise our ninth and 10th amendment. We're going to tell you to go off off. That's the, that's the solution. Not, uh, well, if we just vote a Republican in, I mean, everything's going to be better. <laughs> I've been saying it now and again, I, it doesn't matter. I mean, and conservatives I mean Christians are, are the worst, uh, that are conservative. They, they literally fall asleep when a Republican's in the office. Uh, they didn't talk about how, you know, Donald Trump, expanded the debt by $8 trillion. He expanded, uh, you know, basically with a welfare state for African-Americans, not really getting them out of poverty. Um, yeah, they gave him a choice to, to get a business, but he expanded welfare for everybody. It wasn't just the African-Americans. So he really wasn't, you know, did he do some good things? Sure. But the thing is, is that they don't hold his feet to the fire, but oh my gosh, we can't have Hillary. And I, my thing is, is that I think that when you have somebody that bad, when you have somebody that awful, I think it actually makes people wake up more. Uh, but when there's a conservative or so-called conservative, I've never heard Donald Trump ever profess Christ as his savior. I've never, I've never heard him say that. Um, I've never seen him ever profess Christ as his savior. You know, and you know, I, I've never seen that. So I'm not saying it's wrong, it's bad, or whatever. 
what I'm saying is, is that it's the bottom line problem with this country. The old generation is dying. Okay. The baby boomers are dying. Okay. That's just a fact. Um, we have to have a discussion on what is going to be in the next course of action. And I'm not being morbid in the sense that I'm saying they're dying. It means that the new generation Xers, millennials are starting to become in that generation as the baby boomers now. It's our future. What do you want to do with it? Do you want to just sit there and just say, no, I'm done? Or do you want to create a better future? Well, that's up to you if you want to create a better future. If you don't want to, then hey, you know what? It's the end of the line. I'm Brian Budd. This is the Eclectic News Network. Uh, I am creating a new channel that's going to be a van channel. Um, it's going to be uh, something I'm going to be naming. I bought a Ram Pro Master City uh, cargo van for, of course, traveling. I'm going to be building it out this summer. It's just for sleeping in. Uh, nothing fancy. It's a small van, uh, but it's actually about eight feet deep. So I can actually sleep and have probably a little bit of counter space if I wanted to have like a little single uh, burner grill. Uh, so I'm probably going to do that for the summer. That's a summer project. But I'm going to start traveling the country because I am so sick and fed up of staying here in one spot. It's bullshit. The problem with this uh, this pandemic, it's really got me wanting to itch to be uh, a wanderer, a nomad. I don't know why. I think it's just because everything is just so bland and boring. I want to see some new spaces. And maybe my dopamine levels are down. I don't know. But uh, I'm thinking about a channel that I'm going to start it up probably in the summer. Uh, probably won't see many videos, but uh, just want to let you know that. Take care and God bless.